Tax of airline tickets, expensive hotels, and fancy chauffeur services. Elected leaders with KCK's Board of Public Utilities are charging taxpayers for thousands of dollars in expenses. Investigator Ryan Kath reviewed travel records and asked if it's the best use of your money. Cynthia, board members with BPU do things like approve rate increases, pass the budget, and hire and fire the general manager. They get a monthly salary of about $1,000 along with full medical benefits. And our investigation reveals some of those members also do their fair share of traveling on the taxpayer's dime. Utility rates in KCK keep ticking higher, and BPU customers like Heather Hampton Daily Own feel like more of their monthly income is getting zapped. When I get my utility bill, it's like, oh, I grumble every time. But Heather was really grumbling when she looked at these bills. $855, three nights. Travel expenses showing BPU's six board members spent nearly $30,000 in out-of-town conferences last year. Heather, who ran for a board spot in 2009, calls it excessive. As a rate payer, I kind of resent that. Terry Edson spent the most, racking up more than $8,000 as board secretary. Two years ago, Edson had a $12,000 travel bill, attending seven different conferences in places like New Orleans, Nashville, Atlanta, and two separate trips to Washington, D.C. I don't know too many constituents in Kansas City, Kansas, who would think that was reasonable. KCK attorney Bill Hutton is chair of BPU's Ethics Commission. After getting this anonymous complaint about travel, he and other members passed this this resolution in December recommending several changes to board policy. So far, none of those changes have been passed. We thought what we proposed was at least practical. We ask that you keep your comments to five minutes. We had an interview set up last week with Edson, who is now board president, but he had to cancel with us and miss this meeting because of ongoing health issues. So we sat down with BPU spokesman David Melhoff. Is it upon board members to do some price checking? They do. He argued board members try to get the best bang for their buck and said the conferences are a valuable investment. I want them knowing what's going on out there in the industry, and that's why we encourage them to go to the, some of these events. But after looking at travel receipts, some of the costs surprised us. All of Edson's plane tickets were booked through the travel agency he owns, and he charged taxpayers a $25 service fee. In Washington, D.C., the rate at his Marriott Luxury Hotel was $365 per night. And several different times, Edson opted for a chauffeur service. This trip from D.C. to the Baltimore airport was $172. Bucks. A hotel receptionist told us a cab ride would cost about $80. The Super Shuttle, $40. So you're looking at something that is four times more expensive than the Super Shuttle and more than twice as expensive as a cab. It doesn't seem like there was much of a price check there. We also filed a Sunshine request with Springfield Utilities, which has nearly twice as many customers and board members as BPU. Last year, their 11 commissioners spent $8,300 on travel, or about the same as Edson did on his own. I'm glad that people like you bring this to our attention, because sometimes it takes an issue like this to rise up before you take a step, step back and take a look and see, maybe we need to do it differently. Heather agrees some travel is beneficial, but... I feel like there's there's a huge disconnect between the board and the average Joe on the street. As she and others cut back to pay higher utility costs, she wants to feel like elected leaders are doing the same. BPU officials say travel is only a fraction of the utility's $358 million budget. However, they acknowledge it can weigh heavily in the arena of public perception. Now, because of Edson's health situation, we emailed him several questions. Regarding using his travel agency, Edson says he thought he could save BPU money by getting discounted rates. However, he said charging the $25 fee was, quote, an oversight, a mistake, and should not have occurred. Going forward, BPU staff will make reservations for all travel required by my position. Mark and Cynthia, uh, you can go on the website, see more of his responses to our questions. You can also see some of those travel receipts for yourself and also see what other board members spent. Oh, very interesting. And again, it wasn't just the, the conference themselves, just the number of them, the, the amount of money they spent. People agree the conferences can be beneficial. It was the quantity. Uh, for instance, last year, four board members went to Chicago. That was $10,000 alone right there. All right. Very interesting. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks.